So Java, Python have created this tool that was missing in C++ to create this document. So what I said is I, as a developer, I don't see the detail of your class, but somehow I have to have enough information to see if this is the class that I need to use or I have to create my own class. So I need some information from your class. And those coming in through some comments. Now, Python IDEs and Java IDEs have this tool called java.generate. So you click on that one, it's gonna create an HTML, uh, like, a, like a web page type of thing for you. And we can put that one in internal company or external, depending on how you're doing. So anybody wants to use my class, they have enough information about my class. So it's all documented. So how is it done? We're gonna start with forward slash star star. Remember forward slash star is the comment. But if it's two of them, okay, let me, let me back up. So when I click on Java doc generator, it's gonna go through the code and it's gonna pick up some stuff. It's not gonna pick up everything. It's gonna pick up some stuff to create that web page. How does it know what to pick up? It's gonna be denoted by forward slash star star. So as soon as it says forward slash star star, it's gonna go in there and it's gonna start picking up stuff. So first thing in there is gonna be the method's purpose. So is this what you want in the Word document? Like, is this how you want it structured? Give me, give me, give me a minute. I'm not going to get okay. there. So, uh, this is going to be the. So, uh, we're going to describe the method. So, if I am looking at a method in your class, it's going to, you're going to tell me how. What what is this method? What is it going to do? Then we're going to have the parameters or the return value. So for the parameter, it's gonna be having add para. So it goes in there, it's looking for forward slash star star, and then it's gonna pick up the description, and then it's gonna be looking for add para, and it's gonna say this method needs these parameters. So we're gonna explain the parameters, name of the parameter, and what is it uh, for? Then I'm gonna have, uh, uh, a short explanation of the argument. What is this argument for? And then the second part is can be the return value. What is the return value? And it's gonna be looking at add return. So, and we're gonna explain what the add return is supposed to do. And uh, if you don't have any parameters, don't put it in there. Some IDEs might create it for you. So you don't have it, don't put it in there. Don't put the, something in there with the empty things. Same thing goes with the return. So if I have a type void, then I don't need the at return. The rule of thumb, your mutators don't have any return. The accessors don't have any parameters. And then you're gonna end it with a star for. Okay, so my suggestion, because we all have such an urge to start writing code. My suggestion is to do this in your Word document, and then you can copy and paste it into your IDE later. Because if I am in my IDE, I have such an urge to start writing code. We are not writing the code right now. So put it in your board and then you can copy and paste it in your, uh, technically you have it in the board, you send it to somebody else to write the code for you. That is possibility that you don't write the actual code. Somebody else is gonna write the actual code. So we are gonna have, in this case, I have the withdraw. So I have my withdraw method that has an amount and it's gonna be void. 
So I'm going to explain this to somebody from outside. So if I have a withdrawal, the withdraw money from the bank account. So it's going to be withdrawing the money. That's my description of this method. Then I have a parameter is called amount. So I'm going to put add param amount. Then I explain what is this amount for. This amount is to the amount to withdraw. I'm going to do the same thing again with my other methods. In this case, I describe what is this method is. So the first line is always what the method is going to do. What's the purpose of the method? And then you are going to be doing the add return. What is it going to return? In this case, it's going to return the current balance. Are we okay with this? Any questions on this? So we're going to add time and add return. Those are the things that we're going to do. Again, we are working with the course material of the book that we have. When I see some other stuff, then uh, I have to ask you, how do you know about this stuff? So be sure you have the add param, add return in your design. So you want this exact like uh, format? Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. okay. Yes, and this is from your book. Okay. So we, we talked about the methods. Now we have our class and then we have our packages. So we have three level of uh, comments. In the package level or the file level, in the class level and in the method level. So with the class, uh, all I need is just to explain what is this class doing? So if somebody wants to create a new class, they go through the internal uh, web page and they see or search for the description of this class, uh, this seems like something that I can use. So it's a brief comment of explanation. You do not copy and paste your problem statement and put it over there. It is about the class itself and what is this class supposed to do? Again, we are thinking over here. We are not writing code. So my banking on a class, again, I'm gonna have forward slash star star. It's going to have the description of the class. So we're going to be providing the documentation for every class, for every method, and for every parameter variable. What, what is left? There's one more thing left. We're going to have a documentation for every class. Every method, we're talking about the description. We're going to have every parameter and what else? Every return, return. Every return. So every one of these things has to be discussed. We have to tell what, what are they doing. 